Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out, and then the next breath, and then the next. Try to stay right here. See if you can get your mind under control. Tell it to stay right here with this one thing, and see how long it lasts. If you find it wandering off, just bring it right back. You're trying to train it in some important qualities that it's going to need. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind and not forget. Alertness, the ability to watch what you're doing and not get distracted. And then three, ardency, the desire to do this well, realizing that this really does make a difference. Our lives are shaped by our actions, our actions are shaped by our intentions, and our intentions are shaped by the state of the mind. So you want to put the mind in a good shape, settled, at ease. When you're breathing in, breathing out, ask yourself what kind of breathing feels good. And stick with that. And as the mind begins to settle down, the currents of the mind begin to change. Where it used to be erratic, jumping all over the place, now it settles down and the currents are more even, more calm, healthier for you, healthier for the people around you. Because the mind does send out energy. We see this even in our realm, in other words, dealing with people. One person walks into a room and you can notice that the atmosphere in the room changes simply by that person's presence, either for good or for bad, depending on the person's energy, the energy coming from that person's mind. When we make merit and dedicated to people who passed away, it's the same energy, simply that we want to make it more concentrated and also better. Wherever they are right now, they're going to need some good energy from us. This is the only thing we can send them. You can't put things in a post office and send the package to them. But you can send them energy through the currents of the mind. So you try to get the mind still and calm so that the currents are coherent and that they're healthy, wholesome, good currents of the mind. This is why we practice generosity, observe the precepts, and meditate. Because the mind becomes a better mind as a result. We're finding happiness in a way that's totally blameless, doesn't harm anybody at all. And the mind can be at ease with itself that way. When it's at ease with itself, it sends out good energy. The energy goes through your body, the energy goes through your life, and the energy goes to other people. So we make the mind light and happy that it can still do good. We live in this world where a lot of people are lying right now, a lot of people are and all kinds of things that are really dishonorable. But we say, we're going to maintain our honor. We're going to continue looking for happiness in ways that are harmless. And that way we create a good world for ourselves and leave a good world behind when we have to leave. As for those who've already left, we're sending good energy in their direction. So it's goodness all around.